you must pay 50 cents to draw a card from a standard deck. A standard deck has 52 cards. Remember, a standard deck does not include any jokers. It says if you draw an ace, you will win $30. If you draw any other card, you're going to lose a dollar. All right, so then what we're trying to determine is our expected value. We want to determine if this is a good game that we should try to do or if we should stay away from it. Okay, so 50 cents is what we have to pay just to draw a single card. All right, so that is, um, so what we're going to do here is calculate what the probability, excuse me, calculate the expected value by determining um, what this amount is that we're going to win and multiply that by the probability of actually winning that. Okay, so if we draw an ace, we're going to win $30. So our estimated value is $30 times the probability of drawing an ace. Now remember, in a standard deck, there are four aces. So then our probability would be 4 divided by 52. Now if you wanted to, you could reduce this. That's fine. I'm not going to reduce it yet. I'm just going to type it in the calculator just like that. It makes, makes my life a little bit easier. I don't have to make an error reducing. So, But if you wanted to reduce it, that's fine. You could. It would be 1 one thirteenth. Okay, so that is our expected value if the game just said if you just walked up and you drew an ace, you get 30 bucks. Um, however, this one says you're going to lose a dollar if you draw any other card. So that, uh, losing a dollar would be subtracting. We're going to subtract a dollar time. We're going to multiply that by the probability of not pulling an ace. So if we're going to multiply that by the probability of not pulling an ace, that would be 48. There are 48 cards that are not aces in a standard deck. 48 divided by 52. Okay, now the only, uh, and that would be the um, expected value if we didn't have to pay the 50 cents, but we do have to pay the 50 cents. So at the end, now what we're going to do is just subtract the 50 cents that it costs us to actually play that game. So if we subtract the 50 cents that it costs us to play the game, that means our expected value is 0.885. So that worked out pretty well. This one has a positive expected value, meaning the more often that we play it, um, the closer we'll, we will get to receiving this 0.885 on average per time that we play it. Now you can do it this way and this way works perfect if you wanted to instead of subtracting this 50 cents at the end you could subtract the 50 cents from each one of these expected values. So if we subtracted the 50 cents from each of the payouts it would look like this. Instead of receiving $30 uh, for drawing an ace we'd only receive 29.5 because we spent 50 cents to actually play the game. Then instead of re instead of losing a dollar every time we did not draw an ace, we would lose a dollar fifty. That was our fifty cents for playing the game. Notice how we did not subtract the fifty here, uh, the fifty cents. So either way works out just fine. Either way you want to calculate those. Whatever makes more sense to you is okay with me. Uh, both of them end up being the exact same answer.